everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome on in i hope you choose to stick around in this video i will be discussing how celebrity culture is just not the same it's just not the same now before i get into it almost a hundred percent of you are not subscribed please go ahead and click that subscribe button for me please it helps me out greatly and it's free all you have to do is click it hey just throwing that out there now Roll the intro! Fight. Now, like I said in my intro, I said that celebrity culture is not the same like it used to be. Celebrity culture is dying. And what I mean by that is, I've noticed a lot of people in my generation, I mean, we still get starstruck by certain people because, you know, we grew up watching these people, my generation and the generation before me. So there are still some of us that get starstruck. But the overall consensus that I've been seeing is that we don't really care about celebrities the way the generation before us did, the generation before the millennials, the generation before them, like baby boomers and things like that. They truly got starstruck when they saw these celebrities, whether it was in concerts, whether it was in meet and greets, whether you just so happened to see them at your local Target because you live in a big city. Whatever the case may be, a lot of them got very starstruck when they saw these celebrities because during that time, these celebrities seemed untainable. Now, it doesn't have to date all the way back to the baby boomer generation. Even me growing up in the early 2000s, if I would have seen a Lady Gaga or a Beyonce, if little kid me would have seen them at a Target, I would have been starstruck. So that's why I say my generation, we still get starstruck because there are certain celebrities that are still big that we grew up with from like the early 2000s and we still hold them in somewhat of a high regard. So my generation truly still does get starstruck, but I am seeing more and more lately that that sentiment is starting to die down a bit. It's not being as crazy as it would have been if I saw them in the early 2000s when I was younger. Now, don't get me wrong. If I still see a Lady Gaga or a Beyonce, I'm still going to be like, oh my God, I'm a huge fan. Can I have a picture or autograph or something? You know, I'm still going to be somewhat starstruck. But the reason I believe all of this is happening where people are kind of not really caring anymore is because of social media, more importantly, TikTok. I think TikTok has ruined the music community. Let's start there. So many people on TikTok are having certain like little snippets of songs trending and nobody ever sits down and listens to the whole song or even the album that the song is on. Like I saw this one TikToker, I can't remember her name, I wish I could. Um, but I saw this one TikToker where she mentioned how Kendrick Lamar's old song off of one of his albums, only the beginning of it is sampled. And you know, when it comes to TikTok, people make their funny videos or whatever. But if you never listen to the whole song, you wouldn't know that that song is about Kendrick Lamar's depression. Now, with that being said, we, I feel like songs that are personal to the artist that talk about their personal struggles or personal lives should be held in a pretty high regard because that's that person pouring out their soul in the only way they know how through their music, through their art. For us to take just a snippet of such an important song and make it into something funny, I think it makes a song lose its meaning. I want music like that to keep its meaning and keep its importance, but it starts to lose that once it gets on TikTok and it gets trending and people use it for whatever scenario they can think of. It doesn't, it doesn't work out. Another thing I think that contributes to celebrity culture kind of dying and just not being what it used to be, like I said, social media, a lot of these stars are falling from grace. Like, keep in mind, Doja Cat. Doja Cat was a beloved singer slash rapper. She was underground, people loved her, but the more and more she got fame, the more and more arrogant she seemed. Now, she could have always been arrogant. That could have always been her personality, but because she's in the limelight more and we're seeing more of her, we're seeing more of her personality. And a lot of people are, realizing a lot of these celebrities are not 
full people. Like we think they are. Like we see them on stage and on music videos and we're like, oh my God, they seem so cool and so nice. I wanna meet them. But because of social media, the way it is now, we have more access to people's lives than we've ever had. So we're seeing these celebrities in a new light, kind of like, mm, I don't like you. Like you're not the person I thought you were. So it's literally breaking down that facade of, cause you know, back in the day, we didn't, they didn't have social media and all that stuff. So whatever the celebrity put out is what you saw of them. Now they did have tabloids and paparazzi and magazines and things like that. So every now and then you might see something, but overall, the only thing you know about the celebrity is what they put out through their music, through their movies, through whatever form of entertainment that they are in, or through their interviews as well. Whatever they wanted you to know, that's what you knew. And I think Beyonce said it best in her Life is But a Dream documentary. She said, back in the day, like she used Nina Simone as an example. Back in the day, you were into Nina Simone the musician. You listened to her music and that's what you liked about her. You weren't caught up in who she's dating and all of that other stuff, because that stuff doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the music. But unfortunately, it does. It does affect the music. Because a lot of people say separate art from artists, which I was pretty big about. I've always been that person that's like, okay, let's separate art from artists, you know? But it's kind of hard to do because it's kind of hard, at least for me, it's kind of hard to consume a body of work when you know behind the scenes the person who made it is a really shitty person. Like, because in that way, you're still supporting that person by streaming their music or watching their movies because they still get a percentage of that. Whether you think it's a small or big percentage, depending on who the person is, regardless, they're still getting something. So I'm still in a toss up between that argument of separating art from artists because I want to enjoy certain people's music or movies and bodies of work, but at the same time, my conscience just won't allow me to because I'm like, but the person who made it is not a good person. They're a really bad person, and I don't want any parts of them anywhere near me. So yes, celebrity culture is just not what it used to be. Celebrities are being exposed for being really bad people. People are just... We feel like, and I also feel like, because we see so much of these people on social media, we feel like we know them personally, when in reality, we don't. So we make up this idea of what they are in our heads, and I, obviously they'll either live up to that or they won't. And I feel like when they don't live up to it, that's when we're like, oh, that's when we're like really put off and kind of like, I don't like you anymore, I don't want nothing to do with you, Blah that type of thing which I think it can be on both parts because obviously the celebrity doesn't have to be an a-hole they can be a good person but they choose not to so that's them but I also feel like because of social media and we feel like we know these people personally I think we need to come back to reality no matter like I said a lot of times they show you what they want to show you now it's kind of hard to hide because nowadays everybody has a camera phone like everybody has an iphone an android whatever a phone with a camera everybody is able to record everything so it's kind of hard to hide because it's so easy to get caught up but like i said we need to come back to reality because regardless of what we see of these people or what we don't see we don't know these people personally so I think it's unfair in a way to hold them to a certain standard when in reality, they're just regular people with good talents. That's it. They might seem grand and large because of their money, which I mean, don't get me wrong, money definitely plays a huge part in their role in society. That's They definitely have some type of power because they make so much money and because they're famous and they're well known. So don't get me wrong, that definitely plays a huge role. But at the end of the day, strip all that away, they're just a regular person with good talent. I'm not saying don't support these people that you know you love and you want to listen to. You can support them, but at the same time, don't get so caught up in their personal life that you feel like you know this person and you know everything about them. You 
you don't. In reality, you don't know this person. You only know what they show you. You only know what you can see on the internet. You know them in their deepest, most intimate moments. So just keep that in mind. And my last point in celebrity culture is dying is it's so easy to be a celebrity now. And I think the idea of celebrity is losing some of its value because it is so easy to become a celebrity now. Back then, you had to have a talent of some sort to become a celebrity. And even then, it still wasn't so easy because you had to audition in front of all these people. And my thing is, okay, you did great in your audition, but the person behind you did even better. So why would I choose you and not them? You know, so you really had to fight tooth and nail for your spot. You had to show that you really wanted it and you were dedicated to this craft to become famous and become on such a high caliber. But nowadays you post a little 10 second clip on TikTok of you farting the national anthem and you're famous. You're on the Ellen show. So I think celebrity, the word celebrity is losing its value because any regular old person walking down the street, lip singing a song and dancing funny gets put on the internet and now they're famous. So I think that's another reason why celebrity culture is not what it used to be. It's just, it's way too easy to become famous nowadays. So, and people like to throw around the word celebrity a lot. Like you can be a well-known influencer, but to be a celebrity, like to me personally, a celebrity is somebody like a Beyonce, a Michael Jackson, a Lady Gaga, like they're celebrities. But a lot of times we refer to influencers as celebrities because they're well known. Now, I'm not saying that's wrong, but it's just, I feel like the idea of a celebrity has changed within the years, which I mean, as the world changed, so will a lot of things, a lot of things will change. So I'm not saying it's wrong or right, but I just feel like that's why celebrity culture is just not what it used to be. Because when people think of celebrity, they used to think of people like that, but now, we can think of any old person on TikTok that has like 100,000 followers. Now they're a celebrity. So I just think the word is losing some of its value. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What do you think about this video? And how do you feel about celebrity culture nowadays? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.